The MakerBot Replicator 2X Experimental 3D Printer is capable of dual extrusion 3D printing. Dual extrusion capability means that the MakerBot Replicator 2X has two extruders on it and can therefore have two different colors of filament loaded at the same time. When you're 3D printing a dual extrusion model, the MakerBot Replicator 2X will alternate back and forth between the two extruders, printing certain parts of your model in one color and certain parts in another color. It doesn't actually go any faster because it's still using only one extruder at a time. The MakerBot Replicator 2X will know when to use which color based on how you prepare your model in MakerBot MakerWare. If you need more info about that, be sure to watch the MakerWare Dual Extrusion Tutorial. A dual extrusion model is really made up of two models that meet or interact in some way, where part A of the model is printed with one extruder and part B of the model is printed with the other extruder. The two portions of the model need to be created as separate entities, even though they'll be printed together in the end. And it's important that the two portions be lined up completely and that they don't intersect in any way. Because of all these things, modeling for dual extrusion can be pretty tricky for a beginner, which is one of the reasons we recommend the MakerBot Replicator 2X to those who are really willing to experiment. There are about as many ways to design a dual extrusion model as there are 3D modeling techniques, and the process that you develop will depend heavily on your preferred modeling program and style. This is a basic rundown of one of the ways that you might go about dual extrusion modeling using the Autodesk program 123D Design. Our end goal in this example is to make a dual extrusion watermelon with a green rind and a red center. To do this kind of dual extrusion modeling, you'll have to start with two shapes. In our case, we have two quarter spheres, one slightly smaller than the other. We're going to use the smaller quarter sphere to carve a space into the larger quarter sphere using a Boolean operation. Booleans are 3D modeling tools used to add to or subtract from a 3D model. First, we'll move the small quarter sphere so that it intersects with the large quarter sphere. Leave the edges slightly offset from one another. Now find the split solid function in the modify tab at the top of the screen. Make sure that the body to split arrow is selected and then click on the large quarter sphere. It should turn blue. Select the splitting tool arrow and click on the smaller quarter sphere. It should turn red. Press Enter to perform the split. Now you can delete the small quarter sphere as it's served its purpose as a splitting tool. The remaining objects are two separate pieces that are perfectly fitted together, the rind and the flesh. To make it clear which one is which, I'll indicate the rind in green and the flesh in red. Now you'll need to export each portion of the model separately. To do this, select the inside of the watermelon and hide it. Then choose Export in the drop-down menu at the upper left portion of your screen. Only the rind will be exported while the flesh is hidden. Now select Show Solids from the Hide options in the toolbar at the right side of the screen so that both portions of your model are shown again. Hide the rind by selecting it and choosing Hide at the bottom of the screen. When you go to export now, only the inside portion of the watermelon will be saved. You now have an STL for each portion of your model. The next step will be to open the two portions in MakerBot MakerWare. If you need help with that, be sure to watch the MakerWare dual extrusion tutorial. The watermelon is just one fairly simple example of how dual extrusion modeling can be done. Follow this short link to get inspired by some of the cool dual extrusion models that others have shared on Thingiverse.